Well, hello there, and welcome back to my channel, y'all. Um, it's Luca. Um, how are you all? Hope y'all are doing well. Uh, I'm here. I'm back. It's been a minute. Um, like Lizzo says, I'm going to need a minute, and um, I did need a minute. So uh, I'm back with some more Sims 4 content, and I am just going to be doing some building some casual building today. You know how I am. I'll come to these and I'll be like, okay, I'm going to do a let's build. And then I start the let's build and then I don't finish it because of ADHD. But um, I'll actually try to finish this even if it's off camera. But this is a little build for the BFF household. Now you can see another sim here. Um, I did give them some makeovers ever so slightly just because I was kind of bored of the original looks and I also added Johnny Zest into the household because uh I don't know I, I can see some gay drama going on and speaking of gay drama uh yeah yeah we'll get into that as I proceed through the video so I thought we could instead of making one big house for all four of these sims I kind of really like the idea of doing two smaller homes on the same lot Kind of like the way that these starter homes look here, but just, yeah, just, just on this lot. And yeah, I thought that'd be kind of fun because, you know, it, it's pretty hard building bigger homes on these big lots, especially this one. It just, I don't know. I feel like a big house here, small house, small house, small house doesn't really make sense. So doing two small houses on this lot would kind of, I don't know, it would kind of finish out the neighborhood a little bit better. But how has everyone been? I hope you all are doing well. Um, I have been doing pretty good. I've been focusing on some personal life stuff, work, you know, the huge. So I uh, stepped away from YouTube for a bit because I knew that realistically for my mental health, I couldn't, I couldn't be pushing myself too hard. And um, I need to be better about that. That's something that I am learning slowly, but very surely. Uh, I will from now on uh, make sure I am taking care of my mental health first and foremost, before I do any kind of videos. Um, because at the end of the day, if I, if I'm here making content like all the time and I'm wearing myself out, the content isn't going to be good. It's not going to be good. It's not going to be worth it. It's not going to be worth the hassle, the time, the energy that I put into it. So I just need to accept that, you know, I got to give myself breaks and that way I can find that motivation again. Um, instead of having to, you know, um, burn myself out just so that I can get some views here and there. Um, I don't really know whether or not this is going to be a series. I really want to focus on, um, I might do a green. I really want to focus on the story, the story aspect of these Sims that I'm playing. Um, I, so in a nutshell, I've, I've taken MC command center and used it quite a bit to fix everything, but essentially, um, Johnny Zest, if you don't know, he came with the base game. He is a sim that lives in Oasis Springs in his own little trailer. And the story behind it is, is that he is actually a land grab that was disowned because he didn't want to follow in his parents' footsteps of X, Y, and Z. I don't even remember. Ooh, I kind of like that actually. I don't even remember exactly what they wanted him to do, <laughs> but in my own head, um, he, he wants to be a comedian. Um, he wants to focus on performance and just, you know, he doesn't want to be like a business person. He doesn't want to do that. And his parents, particularly his mother and Nancy was just not here for that. She was just not okay with that. Um, you know, she basically gave him, gave him an ultimatum. She's like, listen, you can either do what we want or you can leave. And he decided to leave. And that's why he moved to Oasis Springs for a while. And, um, you know, he, I, in my own story that I've got, he went to high school in Willow Creek. He went to a, a pretty decent school here. Um, maybe maybe they moved to Oasis Springs when, you know, they had Malcolm or it was like later in life or something. And Johnny had really good friends in Willow Creek. But once they moved, he kind of really, you know, missed them and had a disconnect. And, you know, he wanted to pursue his dreams of being a, you know, performer, like a comedian, you know, 
And uh, yeah, so he decided to move back to Willow Creek and he moved back with his friends. Um, You know, he wasn't really like super, super close this summer. He knew her, he liked her, but he was really close with Travis and Liberty, particularly Travis, but we'll get into into that in just a second because I got more steam, more tea to tell you. I'm going with a pretty simple style for this house. Um, This is supposed to kind of be a starter home. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste this. I kind of wanted to do it like this, but I thought that didn't make much sense. Um, So I'm going to put the other house here and we'll kind of line it up. Maybe I'll do like, maybe I'll play around with some terrain manipulation here and there too. That'd be kind of fun. But yeah, I'm going to just do that and do that. But um, I'll talk a little bit more about the the BFFs themselves, because obviously we have Johnny's story. Um, but I like to think that the these three were th- these three were really good friends in high school, particularly Summer and Liberty were really good friends. Um, Travis came along later on and he became pretty close to Summer. They had a little bit of something here and there. Um, nothing too, too intense and crazy. They dated for a bit, but they didn't really work out. It just, it wasn't really for them. Neither of them really like found much interest later on, but eventually they did, you know, they, they still remained friends and they still like, you know, they were, they still cared about each other a lot. And the three of them, you know, after high school, they were like, you know, we can just like, you know, live in this house together because, you know, we're all broke and like, we want to be independent. So they did, and they're still living together and they're still doing great. Um, we'll just say that, you know, they moved into a house and then they found these two houses that were next to each other because Travis wanted some independence. Um, he wanted, he just, you know, he wanted his own space and yeah, they kind of just worked it out. But here in, uh, this area, it, it works pretty well because it's like starter homes, but you know, yeah, yeah. But I don't really know what I'm doing. Um, I haven't built, I'm just going to tell y'all, I have not built in such a long time. I have, Oh, gosh, I've been so focused on just taking care of myself that I have very much so fallen out of building. But uh, yeah, so so bear with me. Um, if these videos are kind of long, I'm sorry. Uh, it's just me rambling a lot. But also it's me just trying to learn how to build again, because um, I'm really out of practice. And I'm really bad at keeping my videos and like just everything consistent. But yeah, we'll just we'll just go from there. I kind of want to add like a little, little thingy me, Bobby, one of those little thingies, you know, I like that, but I think I'm going to have to change the siding because of the glitches and stuff like glitches as in like not a glitch, but like this little trim piece isn't on this side now because there's like only one tile here. So, you know, I kind of like that. That's kind of nice. It kind of works. That does the job. I don't know if I love this yet, but we'll see. But back to the story, back to the um, real reason that I'm building these in the first place. But essentially, they moved here and everything. And, you know, Travis and Johnny kind of reconnected. And, you know, when Johnny decided to move away from Oasis Springs, he, you know, him and Travis were really close. And he was like, you know, you should just come be my roommate or something. You know, we can figure something out. You know, we really, you really need to get out of that place. You need to be away from Oasis Springs. Cause he tried living by himself in that trailer for a while. And he just, he was still too close to his parents and he, he felt smothered by them. Um, the whole thing with Johnny is that he's not on good terms with his mother or his brother because his brother is just a maniac, you know, him, um, little Malcolm Landgrab evil. Um, but he is still close with his dad. Uh, he's still close with Jeffrey. And, you know, Jeffrey really, really tried to keep the family together. He really wanted to, you know, he was really trying to push um, both his wife and his son to just kind of reconnect, stay, you know, in some form of, you know, connection with each other. And it just got to a point where he was like, I just can't do this. You know, I love you, dad, but I've got to, I've got to leave. I can't do this anymore. This isn't, it's not healthy for me because she's always just going to make me feel like a terrible person for, you know, choosing myself over her, I don't know, over her narrative, I guess. So yeah, but, and you know, they, they moved back in together and, um, I have plans because y'all know, y'all know, y'all know me at this point, you know, me at this point, 
Oh, that's really cute, actually. Um, but you know me at this point. You know, you know what I'm going to be doing. Okay, it's going to be gay as hell in this household. Um, we've got, you know, obviously Summer and Liberty. Like Liberty, okay, Liberty is a full blown lesbian. She knows it. She's accepted it. She knew it in high school. She's like, I'm done with men. You know, whatever. Um, Travis kind of was like. You know, he was, like, into her for maybe a little bit after him and Summer broke up. He was, you know, he's just very confused about his sexuality, so he just didn't know how to handle it. And she was like, honey, I'm gay. So, and he's like, oh. And then it made him real confused because he's like, that can be a thing. Anyways, I don't know. I'm going to play along with it and see what I can do uh, in my own personal gameplay. Maybe I'll bring it to the channel. Who knows? Um, Maybe that'll change things up a bit. I don't know what I'm doing with this. What kind of flooring? That has that sub flooring that is just like there. I kind of want to do a different color of the foundation. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, that looks good. I don't want this to be too fancy. Um, I really want this house to just kind of look like a pre-built, like prefab house that, you know, they're just renting, you know, they're rented houses. That's all they are. But um, yeah, I don't know. I just, I can see a lot of tension between Summer and Liberty because, you know, maybe Liberty is like really crushing on Summer and Summer's just kind of confused about her sexuality, but she's, you know, Liberty's not trying to push her or anything. She's just kind of letting her figure that out. And maybe Summer does date some men. Maybe she dates some women here and there. And Liberty is just like, I'm giving her space because I don't want to ruin our friendship, blah, 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 blah. Just, just all the tea, all the drama, but not really. It's pretty low key. But then Travis and uh, Johnny, on the other hand, the two of them are definitely, I think I really want them to like, have like, I want it to like, I want there to be drama. I want it to be like friends to like lovers, but make it very complicated and very like up and down. Cause you know me, you know me, you know me, I love me some fan fiction. So I know that I'm going to make this really intense where they're going to like fight and they're going to argue and they're going to be upset with each other. And then they're going to fall back in love. And then they're just going to split up because they're both confused. And it's just going to be so much tea and I'm excited. Um, whether I not, whether or not I put this on the channel, who knows, but, uh, just keep an eye out. Cause you never know. And, uh, I remember back in the day I did a very gay let's play. Like I did like a few episodes and then I lost some footage and then like I got really upset because I didn't want to backtrack. I should have just recovered the save and redone some stuff, but I just didn't do it. And yeah, it was not great. I really had a hard time with it. And then the, I had to, I ended the series because I was so frustrated with it and it made me very sad um, because it did pretty well on the channel. Like weirdly enough. Okay. So here we are in the first house. Um, I think I'm just going to, let's see. I'm going to probably try to follow like how a lot of these houses are laid out. Um, this might be just a little tiny living room. Uh, maybe I could put like a small kitchen off to the side. It'll, I think I want to make it semi open plan just because like it makes the most sense. Um, like maybe the kitchen can go here and then maybe I can put like a bathroom, like say here or something. And then maybe this can be like a small hallway, maybe like this. And then there can be two bedrooms. One's a little bit weird, but it's fine. It, it's fine. That's just how it is in houses. Sometimes, sometimes bedrooms are weird, um, but you know, they have a good amount of space each. So why not? It's either that or they share a room. And um, well, you know how that is. You know, like, oh, they just have to, like, they just happen to have to be sharing a room and there's only one bed. Oh, no. You know what I mean, right? I'll put, like, a couple windows here. I need to remember, though, that these, like, these windows can be very high for Sims, so I need to make it realistic. I kind of want to, I kind of want to, like, just do that. I kind of don't mind that. I, I really don't like medium wall height walls for smaller homes because, the smaller the home and the higher the walls, the worse it looks. I just don't like whenever like, cause like high ceilings, it just makes it seem smaller. So I'm just going to use these windows here and they have all this simoleons, all these simoleons primarily because I moved in Johnny um, and he had his furnishing and stuff like that. So like it's, it's not cheated. Um, and then I demolished the house that was here. So, but yeah, like, I like this little, little house. It's pretty cute. Okay. So I went ahead and picked out some flooring and some wallpapers, um, keeping it simple, basic, clean. I want it to kind of resemble like 
one of those homes, like just, just like a cheaper home. Like I didn't want it to seem super expensive and just, I don't know. I just want to make it look like it's a budget home because I, they're young adults. They're starting out. Maybe they, they don't have a lot of money. Um, I am going to lower their funds once I finish the builds, but, um, I wanted to, I just wanted it to be realistic. I didn't want it to be crazy. Um, Oh, I like these. These are cute. Um, but yeah, I really, I'm excited to actually play these because I've been watching a lot of Ocean Sims lately. Uh, and I don't know, Ocean Sims videos always inspire me whenever I watch them. She's so fun to watch. I could just, I just love her like stories and her, you know, how she makes Sims and just, just in general, everything. It's great. 10 out of 10 recommend Ocean Sims. Um, I, yeah, I've just been really inspired by that. And, uh, that's what we're doing here is making some drama, but not, not over the, it's not over the top drama. It's just drama. Okay. I'm liking this. This looks nice. You can never go wrong with the parenthood counter set. It's so good. I really like it myself. Um, can we, oh, it fits. Oh, I see. I love that. I love mixing and matching the cabinets. Um, I kind of want to do a different window though, because I really want to put this here. I know it's kind of tight and you know how I am. I really do like a window over the sink. If I can, I might, let's see. I don't think I can do it with these cabinets. I can't, but I can just put another counter piece if I want. We'll just do that. Um, I might have to expand this out. I know that's kind of weird, but I think it works. Yeah, I like that. And then we'll just do this. Boom. And then ta-da. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. I like it. I don't know why I do that throughout my videos. Um, is that exciting? Is it fun to watch? Is it fun for me to be like, oh, I like that. Oh, I like this. I like that. Like, I know. Yeah. Let, let's talk about the media that we've been consuming lately. Like, I have not done that in a minute. Um, I, oh, there's so much I need to talk about. <laughs> there's a lot I need to talk about. Um, first of all, Wednesday, um, I won't spoil anything whatsoever. I just, I just want to talk about th the aesthetic. Oh my gosh. I, it, it did something for me y'all. It really, really did. I, it's been a minute since I really got gotten into like a universe like that. Um, I feel like it tickled. It did something for me because you know how I am. I love Harry Potter. I love that school, like teen, like drama, but adult actual drama is happening. And like, I don't know. It's, it's so good. Like it's such a good show. Um, I highly recommend it. If you haven't seen it already, it's the actors were cast perfectly. Um, the OG Wednesday from the Adams family films. She is in it as, uh, Mrs. Miss Thornhill. Ah, uh, such a, mm, like so happy that she's in it. Like it would be such a shame if she wasn't. Um, but yeah, I highly recommend it. Check it out. If you haven't, um, just, just really good all in all. Oh, I like this table. I kind of like the Ikea looking stuff. Like, like they bought this stuff as a set or something, maybe, I don't know. We will do the white one. I like that more, but yeah, um, it's, it's been, it's really good. Definitely recommend it. Um, me and my boyfriend are also currently watching the dragon age anime animation. Is it an anime? It's an anime, I guess. It's just the new dragon age show that is on uh, Netflix. It's called dragon age absolution. Um, again, it's, uh, I'm not going to spoil it because you know, it's still pretty new. Um, really good so far. Um, first episode, I will say, um, for me, I was like, not sure if I liked it yet. I was like, do I like this? Is this good? But the second episode I was like, okay, it's good. It's pretty good. Like, you know, I, I really was like excited because I heard Cassandra's voice and I was like, Ooh, Ooh, I hear Cassandra voice, um, uh, in like the, the pre preview and yeah I'm, I'm excited i'm just i'm just ooh, i'm excited for it um i love dragon age it's my one of my favorite universes too uh along with like harry potter and all that stuff i love magic and i love all that nonsense um but yeah that's that's it's been it's been good i i'm not really the type of person that really likes watching new things um that's just me in a nutshell i like this one this is kind of cute it's kind of nice i feel like it suits their vibe but I really enjoy it so far and definitely recommend it. 
for some reason, parenthood is just working really well for me today. I don't know. I just like this. I like the size of this house too. It looks pretty good. Um, I don't know if they have this much style to be honest. Um, but you know, I don't know. Maybe Johnny does have a style. I mean, he came from a rich family, you know, maybe he knows, he just knows how to find nice stuff. Um, so why not? Uh, this is obviously going to be like their house. And then, uh, the other house is going to be for summer and Liberty. It's going to be a lot more like femme, I think traditionally femme. And I'm very excited. Anyways, just had a sneezing fit. Um, so if my voice sounds a little weird, that's why. But I'm just going to put a few plants here and there. Nothing too crazy. I don't want this to be overly furnished by any means. Like, I don't want it to be, like, tight packed and everything. Because I kind of want to make it a little bit realistic. I kind of want it to be, like, they don't have a whole lot right now. And they're slowly building up, you know, like, all that stuff. All that fun stuff. And plus, it's more fun to do that. It's more fun. Like, I, I don't really like building, like, a full furnished house for my personal gameplay. I like it to be kind of empty so that I can kind of slowly add to it as I go. I kind of want there to be a window here. It just feels right, you know? It's got to be like this. Yeah, that's nice. Let's do some curtains too, but is there anything that you all have been watching lately? I love living on a main road. I love the loud traffic. It, it keeps me humble. Um, no, but have you all been watching anything lately that you're into or maybe you've been reading something or maybe you've been you know playing a game that has a really good storyline do let me know in the comments oh i kind of like this being here you know it kind of fits the casual vibe of in here i like that that's cute i like this so far i kind of want to keep it pretty simple um but yeah i don't know i'm, I'm sorry if i'm all over the place i've had coffee today <laughs> that's a big mistake you know me, but, but, okay, this is some, uh, maybe it's a little TMI, but who cares? Um, I recently discovered I'm possibly lactose intolerant. I have not been diagnosed with it whatsoever. I need to actually go to the doctor and deal with that nonsense, but I hate going to the doctor and dealing with nonsense. So, you know, there's that, but, um, I have been cutting out dairy and I'm feeling better, but I got some lactose free milk today. And that's what I got next to me is a uh, coffee, an iced coffee, homemade iced coffee, by the way, with that and some Tarani syrup. Oh my gosh. It literally tastes like I got it from a, from like McDonald's or something. And I mean that as a praise because I am a McDonald's coffee like person. I enjoy it. I know that people hate it. I, I like it. Okay. It's cheap. It's accessible. It's literally down the road for me. So yeah. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> what is, what else is new? I just kind of was scrolling and just going, ooh, coffee, you know. I'm specifically looking for, and I think it may be in clutter. Um, I'm specifically looking for like those like shelves that you would like put in like laundry rooms and stuff. Let me literally just go to packs. I think there's one with seasons, but there's, I think seasons would be the best one because their vibe isn't like super traditional. Um, like this one's pretty good, but I want this one. There we go. And we'll just do, I don't know. I kind of, I kind of like using stuff that I haven't really, um, like this looks like something you would probably buy on like Amazon or something like the, you know, like how my desk, for example, in real life, um, my desk is, uh, from Amazon and it has that, like, you know, like the modern vintage wood with like the black metal. Like I kind of like that aesthetic, but with like lighter blues, I kind of like that, but yeah. I, I like this. This is fun. Uh, this is a cute little, Ooh, I like that a lot. I like that rug, but I'm going to go with the blue one. Maybe not. Oh, I can spend all day on that. I can spend all day. There we go. And let's put a bookshelf in too. Cause you know, they need a bookshelf, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. I've been, uh, I've been really wanting to get back into the Sims lately. Um, mainly because I just, I've been watching ocean Sims and, uh, like English simmer and like just a lot of different simmers uh i've been watching devin bumpkin build here and there too uh i don't know it's just it's been make it's it's been making me miss the sims because let's be honest i i haven't been interested in the sims at all lately i only recently I, i've been getting back into it um i don't know i just kind of lost a lot of steam i think i do that to myself a lot and i need to understand that that is okay to let myself like lose interest in things and move on to different things because then I'm just going to be unhappy and doing the same stuff over and over. Like that's just, it's just not fun. You know, it's not fun to just do the same thing all the time. So um, I'm doing a little trick that I've seen some other people do. 
I don't think I do it that much. I think I need to do like that. But this chair from laundry day, if you take it and you like put four together and then you size it down like this, you get like a nice little like planter. And like, I don't know if that looks cute in here or not. I don't think it does. Um, maybe a different color. Maybe the white would look nice actually. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Why not? Um, I like this though. I like how minimally decorated it is and like how it's just kind of bare because you know, it's a, it's a boy's house. I know I don't, I know I don't subscribe to gender norms here on my channel, but sometimes it's okay. Sometimes it's okay because that's just how it is sometimes. Cause let's be honest. Let's be honest. Me and my, my me and my boyfriend, you know, we're, we're very, we're, 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 we're like not heteronormative because there's no such thing as heteronormativity in this household, literally. Um, but you know, we had bare walls for quite a while. So, you know, it's, we kind of, we kind of didn't say much cause we, you know, you know, that's just how it is when you start out. It's how it is. And then, you know, it's a beautiful thing. You gotta, you gotta appreciate those times for what they are. And, and I really did. And um, yeah, I gave them, I'm giving them a boob light. Because I think boob lights just look realistic. <laughs> and you know me. I just like simple and minimal decorations in the kitchen. Because, you know, you got to prepare food in the kitchen. So you don't want to overdo it with stuff. But I'll put like a little fruit bowl in here. Um, you know, so they can have some fresh fruit once in a while. Maybe I'll put that on the table, actually. I think that would look better in here. Yeah, that looks much better in here. Oh, I love that. That looks cute. And then we'll be able to put some tea or something there. I'll shrink it down. There we go. I don't know. That feels like that should be in a, that shouldn't be in like a home. That should be like on a, like at a cafe or something. Um, I guess I can put a coffee pot. It doesn't really fit here, but let's pretend that it does. <laughs> Cause I don't want to, I mean, I could size it down technically. Does it work? Let's, we'll see if it works. If not, then I'll just move it. But um, I kind of want to put an island counter here, but I think this is like the perfect amount of furnished that I want this house to be. So let's just move on. I'm keeping it ridiculously simple in this bathroom, so I'm not even going to spend that much time or even focus on it too much. So I'm just going to, you know, keep going and just, uh, we'll get there at the end. Okay. So really quickly, I'm actually playing around with, um, the tool mod for a second. I want to try something out really quickly. I want to see if I can put this towel like here. We'll pull it a little bit forward here and we can put it like on top of the shower thing. So it's like they hung it up, elevate it. We'll do 1.5. Okay. We'll elevate it by 0.5. Ooh, actually that looks pretty good. And then we'll put, Oh, we'll turn that off, move this back. Um, it does look like it needs to be adjusted just a bit, but nothing crazy. So like, yeah. And then we'll elevate it like 0 0.0.5, elevate it 0 0.0.5, elevate it. <laughs> no, I'm doing this so slowly, but like, I'd rather do it slowly. I think that looks pretty good. Okay. Is it perfect? No, but I like it. Yeah. I like that a lot. It just adds a little bit of something, something there. It makes it look like there's an actual towel hanging up there. And like, I don't know. Cause I can imagine like there's one towel rack here, but they only have one and they don't want to share it. So they put the, the other person does that there. That's actually what me and my boyfriend do. Um, cause we only have one towel rack in our bathroom. It's, it's a rental. So like, it makes sense, but, um, let's put this here actually. But yeah, I, uh, I actually hang mine on the shower most of the time. And then, oh wait, no, we have one on our door. That's true. So I'm lying. Never mind. Put a little mat there. Yeah, just a simple bathroom. We don't need anything crazy. It's a bathroom. Like, let's be honest, nothing goes on in the bathroom except for, you know, the daily duties, you know, <laughs> like literally and figuratively. I'm going to save really quickly because you know how it is. You know how it is. Ooh, I just had a good sip of coffee, y'all. Let me tell you, that is so good. Like, I'm living such a good... I did so good. Anyways, um, so I think this room will be Travis's. I just feel like whenever he moved in, he picked this room because he liked it the most. And this long, awkward room will be Johnny's. Johnny doesn't really care. Um, I think I'll just have him a pretty cheap bed. Um, maybe 
Travis has been here for a little bit longer, so he was able to get like a nicer bed. But um, yeah, we'll do like this one for Travis. It's a pretty, it's a pretty simple bed. Um, I don't know what I like, to be honest. I kind of don't care if it matches because I think that it, that's the point. I want it to look mismatchy. Um, we'll do, we'll do this like used bed. Maybe uh, Johnny found it like at a yard sale or something or an estate sale or the flea market or something. I don't know. We'll just leave it at that one. Um, and then let's see. There's so much we could do here. There's so much. I like this because I kind of like the vibes that he likes more like city living stuff because he's very much so like a modern urban kind of person. I do want to give him a computer so that he can, you know, work on his like career. Um, we'll just say that he got like this cheap desk from like Ikea or something. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't want it to be perfect and matchy matchy and like coordinated and all that jazz because like there's no point in that because this is supposed to be a starter. This is supposed to be like the beginnings of something bigger. Um, but for now, it's just simple and inexpensive and it's all they need. It's all they need. Um, let's see. I need to find a proper like dresser or something. I could put a closet in here. Maybe. Oh, that's a lot. Oh, that takes up a lot of space. Theoretically, I could like flip the bed and then do this and then, you know, do that. Maybe it'll work. You know, I don't hate that. I think that adds a lot of intrigue into the room. It makes it pretty tight and small, but I mean, I don't fully hate it. And then maybe I can put like a TV in here. Maybe he, he was able to get like a cheap TV or something. Um, there's this table here that actually fits perfectly. Um, and then maybe we can just put like a little cheap TV. I don't know if they can watch TV in bed yet. Can they? Can't they? I actually don't know. Do let me know in the comments. We'll just do this little, no, we'll do this TV. This just looks more modern. And then I'll do some gray curtains maybe, or maybe I'll do blinds. Ooh, blinds is actually, it adds some realism into here. Um, and I'm also going to get rid of these lights. And then I'm going to do, I'm going to do a boob light over here. <laughs> They're not really called boob lights. They just look like boobs. And that's just funny to me. But, and then I'll put like a simple little lamp over here. You know, keep it, keep it simple. Keep it chill. Keep it cheap. You know? Yeah. Like that. Um, there's not a lot going on in here. So I probably should add some clutter just because, you know, clutter makes it look more, a li little bit more lived in. Um, we'll do, ooh, there's coffee mugs. Oh, yes. Little little solo mug there. We'll do some, you know, like some bills or something. Maybe he has like some piled up mugs in the corner here. He's needing to take to the kitchen. He just hasn't yet. Um, let's see. Tissues. I'm not going to tell you what they're for, but I'm going to let you fill in the lines. Okay. You nasties. <laughs> what am I saying? I'm the nasty one. Uh, anyways, uh, we'll do like some shoes in the corner, um, some books in the corner or something, or we'll just do some books on the desk. It's just kind of piled up. You know, he doesn't really, he doesn't really have like rhyme or reason for this stuff. It's just there because it's, it's from the clutter kit. So I really like it. Um, some books maybe. Um, ooh, this little statue from Journey to Batu. That's kind of cute. I want something up there, like some, some kind of like poster or like a mirror or like some something, you know, something that just looks good there. But it, I don't want it to be too nice because, you know, I want it to look like, you know, they're just moved in or he's just kind of getting settled. You know, I don't know what to put up here. I mean, I guess I could just go with, ooh, well, that's kind of cute. I do quite like that. Oh, and he is like obviously in the comedian career. So I do want to give him a, um, a, like a microphone that helps him boost that. And maybe I'll give him a guitar too. Maybe he's a comedian, but he also can play guitar pretty well. Yeah. Like that's a, you know, it's not super crazy cluttered in here. Um, and it's not like ideal. Of course it's qu quite small, but, um, you know, it's, it's, it's his own room. And that's what he likes because maybe in the trailer that he lived in, it was cause you know, the trailer that he lived in was pretty big um, for a trailer, you know, realistically, but in, 
it, we'll just say that maybe the trailer was really broken down, run down, and just, you know, it was nothing. It was like, th like this is a very nice house compared to what he was living in there for a while. Oh my gosh, I feel like every time that I like talk a lot, <laughs> Like, especially in like a video or something, I sneeze so much. Is that normal? Is that something that y'all deal with? Because I feel like I just deal with that all the time. Maybe it's just because I'm breathing like heavily a lot because I just don't know when to stop talking. Ooh, I like this. That's really cute. I kind of want that above his bed. Yeah, I feel like that suits his vibe. I like that. Is there something else I could put? Ooh, yeah. Like, this is like an homage to the way where he lived in the desert. You know, maybe he secretly does miss the desert a little bit. Um, but he doesn't really like, he doesn't talk about it because like, you know, it, he connects, you know, the, his love for the desert with his parents and like all that nonsense. We'll put some vinyls up here, even though I'm so against this, I am so against this unless they are li like, no, absolutely not. But I'm just going to go with the flow for the aesthetic. Because you don't do that to vinyl, even even if even if it's an artist you don't like, that's just that's a vinyl. Okay, you need to take care of it. Okay, I mean you don't have to, but like you know what I mean. Like, ugh. Me and my boyfriend are really into vinyl. He's more into vinyl than I am, but uh, I love I love me a good vinyl. Yeah, I, I'm I we, we we both have a collection that we kind of. We, it's weird. We don't share it because there's ones that are specifically like each other's like and all that. But then there's some that like we kind of share. I don't know. Um, it's, uh, it's great. I'm going to put his bed against the wall because I feel like he's like needs space to, um, I don't know. I want to put the, I actually want to put a closet in this room too. So I'm going to put it one here. I feel like that makes it a little bit more realistic because it makes the rooms a bit smaller. It gives them a little bit more of a unique shape and it keeps it from just being very boxy. Cause I feel like I have a really bad time, like a really hard time, like building homes and making them like super boxy. If you know what I mean? Yeah. We'll just do like blue throughout his room. Just, you know, I don't know. I, Cause I can't really think of anything else. Um, we'll throw in some pops of like fun colors. Like, you know, maybe, maybe Liberty got him this lamp or something for as like a Christmas gift because she's like, you can be gay. Just, just saying we, I'm here for you. You're I'm, I'm your friend, you know, <laughs> like, I don't know. I forget what he, I think he's into programming. So I feel like he would have a, he would also have a desk. Um, I don't know if he has room for like a big desk, but I can at least put like a small one in here. Yeah. Like that one's nice. Like it's not ideal. Ideal. It's not ideal. God. Um, it's not ideal because, um, of course, you know, it's pretty small, but, uh, oh my God, that fits. It's so sad. Um, we'll just do a normal computer like this, you know, maybe he's into programming, but he doesn't really like being on the computer that much because he works as a programmer or something. Um, something like that, maybe, I don't know. And again, I'm just going to put some clutter around and, uh, yeah, yeah, I didn't put a back door. I don't think that these houses have back doors. They don't really have backyards either. So I guess it doesn't really matter. Um, I probably won't even do much outside of these builds TBH because like, it just doesn't, it doesn't fit their vibes. It doesn't fit their personalities to have like gardens and um, planter boxes and, you know, landscaping. Like they don't have time for that. It's not their vibe. It's not their jam. They don't really care. Um, it's, it's not that they don't care. It's just, they don't have time for it. You know, I kind of don't hate that. I don't think he's into sports that much, but I don't know. Let's see here. What's something fun. Oh, that's kind of a vibe. I do like, I do quite like that. Cause that looks kind of reminds That's Minecraft font. What the heck? That's how Minecraft looks. I've never looked at that. That's cute. Um, he doesn't really have a lot going on in his room, but that's fine, I think, because I'm just going to give him blinds again. I actually quite like the mini blinds. They're not mini. They're pretty big, but I kind of like that because like for like the bedrooms, they just have those. I don't know, because you, whenever you rent like a house or something, that's usually what you get is like the those blinds. Um, and that's there's nothing wrong with that. I actually prefer having them, but um it's nice having curtains over top of them too, but I don't really think you can really do that in this game. Yeah. Like it kind of glitches. They kind of overlap awkwardly. I literally 
just clicked on the same curtain three times. Anyways, um, I'm going to give him a mirror. Why not? I feel like he needs a mirror. Just, I, I want to fill up this room a little bit. We'll do this mirror here. That's, that's a nice, that's actually nice in the corner. Um, we'll do something on the wall, maybe like, I like this. This is pretty cute. I'll put this like right here. That's nice. I don't know. I don't really want to go too, too crazy with this room. Cause I feel like it, I feel like it doesn't need to have a lot of stuff in it. Um, I will put like one of these mugs here cause these mugs are so nice for clutter. Um, oh, there's a little notebook. I can, I'm going to put this down in here actually. And I'm going to put these here on his bedside table. Yeah. So that it kind of looks like he has like something, you know, I don't really like this lamp. I've decided. I think that it doesn't make sense with his character to have that lamp. I think he just is going to have like one of these. I kind of like that. I don't know. That's a pretty cute room. I, I think, I think I've succeeded. I think I've succeeded in this little build um, quite a bit. I'm probably just not going to do the landscaping or anything like that on the, in the video today, because you know me, I really am very meticulous with it. And I'd rather do that off camera by myself. Um, so that's what I'll do but I am going to at least add like a little pathway or something just so that I can at least, at least finish that off. Yeah. Like that. Um, I'll, I'll do a few things. I won't do landscaping, but I'll add like what they need, like a little mailbox. I kind of want to add a driveway here. I kind of like that idea of there being like a driveway for their cars, you know, cause it makes sense right here. It doesn't over here as much but we'll just pretend we'll just pretend who cares it's the sims it doesn't matter none of it matters it's all for fun it's all for looks we don't care it's not functional so i need to stop being so weird about it i'm gonna give johnny i think this nice orange car maybe his parents actually let him keep it you know it's his pride and joy he takes care of it you know it's the one thing he owns and then this can be um johnny's car or not johnny um travis maybe no maybe travis travis has this blue car yeah, that's nice. Oh, I'm going to have to do the landscaping. I'm going to have to, but not now. I'm going to hold back. I'm going to hold myself back. It's okay. We can. I'll do it later. I promise. Um, but let me just put like, I don't know, some chairs or something out here to fill this in so that I don't go crazy because it looks really, really empty and boring. Um, but anyways, um, I guess we're towards the end of the video. Um, I hope y'all like this. Do let me know. Please let me know in the comments uh, if y'all liked it. I'm going to just upload this, get it out there. So yeah, I don't know. Just just let me know if this is a kind of format that you enjoy. Um, I know that I know not everyone will enjoy this because, you know, it is it is something different from what I usually do. But I, I've decided that if I'm going to continue making content, I can't be doing the same content I used to be making uh, in the same way, like because I, yeah, I just, I'm not the same person that I used to be five years ago. And when I started my channel, like five, six years ago, I was a person trying to, you know, distract myself from the stress of college, from generally there's a lot of stress in general, like not just college stress, but just life stress. And I was also um, kind of preventing myself from, from doing anything else. Let's be honest. I was hiding a lot and YouTube was a really good way to distract myself from everything. And yeah, I need to approach it differently because if I'm going to, cause I really love making content. I love being a part of this community and I love having a community that is so supportive. Like you all, like y'all are amazing. Like literally I don't speak about and talk about how much I love you all so much. Like, I, I don't know. Y'all are just so great. Y'all have nothing but positive comments and you know, y'all are so like, good about educating me on things if I need it, or you're just really good for just motivation. Like I said, I wasn't going to do landscaping. I know I lied. I'm sorry. I just wanted to talk a bit more, but, um, but yeah, I, I really do appreciate you all so, so much. And thank you so much for all the support throughout the years. If you've, if, even if you've just subscribed or you've literally been here since day one, um, thank you. I mean it so, so much. Like I, I could not have done, I, I could not have gotten through college without you all. I couldn't have got, gotten through college. I couldn't have gotten through my early twenties without you all. Like I'm 27 now. Um, it, I feel like this year for me is going to be a big turnaround. 
Like I'm going to, I don't know, be developing, developing myself as a person a lot more. And I'm very excited for that. And I'm really hoping that I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that YouTube will be part of it because I love making YouTube videos and just, I don't know. I love you all most of anything. Like that's, that's what keeps me coming back as you all, because like I, I, I miss y'all all the time and I'm liking this a lot actually. So um, maybe talking is a good thing, but yeah. Um, just let me know what you think. Uh, if you want to see some gameplay, bear with me. I need to remind myself this too. I have never really done gameplay videos. Um, I have in the past sort of, but not seriously. And, uh, it's been a minute, so I don't know what to expect of myself when it comes to them. I don't know the ins and outs. I don't know the process, the structure. I don't know. I'm one of those people that I have to have structure. And if I don't have a structure, I don't know what I'm doing. So, you know, but rambling aside, uh, just let me know what you think and all that jazz. But if you got to this part of the video, why don't you comment zest? You can say lemon zest. You can say lime zest. You can say orange zest. But we'll just say zest because of Mr. Zesty Boy here. And this is a custom um, facial hair, by the way, before anyone asks. This came with, this mustache came with, um, it came with an update. But there's some stubble with this custom one that I really like. And I just, I don't know. I really like the vibes. But Anyway, um, that is everything. I will probably upload these onto the gallery once I finish them. Uh, there's a lot more detail and stuff that I want to do with them, of course, before I do anything. But for now, um, they're just going to be little works in progresses, and that's okay. But um, I love you all. Take care of yourselves. Stay home. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Stay hydrated. Drink some water. Please take your vitamins. Ooh, I need to do that. Oh, it is three o'clock. It is 3 p.m. And I didn't take my vitamins this morning. Wow. I'm Call me out in the comments, please. Drag me through the mud. I need it. But that is everything. Thank you all so, so very much for watching. Stay weird. And I will speak to you all next time. Goodbye, my friends.